Well, good Wasteful Wednesday evening to you folks. We are currently awaiting our co-host, Mr. Kyle, to join us and a few more of our merry band of space misfits for tonight's game of Classic Traveler. And I hope you guys are excited about this as I am, uh, primarily because it's a damn fun game and Kyle is a great, great GM. And also because I have very little to actually do. I don't have to I don't have to roll dice. I don't have to come up with clever stuff to say. I just get to role play. Hello, Mark Hoover, Greg Gazebo. Uh, while we're waiting on Kyle, though, I do want to remind everybody, of course, that tonight's episode is brought to you by our friends at Hellebard Games, whether it is fifth edition, Castles and Crusade, or anything else in the OSR sphere, just about. Old school gaming is in play at the table, and you can get Hellebard Games Adventure Modules directly from their website at hellebardgames.com or drive through RPG. That's Hellebard Games. And we thank them for their support. Mill Master, this is this is the next on my classic campaign's goals. Legend of the Sky Raiders, very cool. You'll have to come back and tell us how that uh how that goes. And hey, just to who look who just came into the, the green room. It is uh, our our very own game master extraordinaire. The Thunder from Down Under. Let us welcome the one, the only Kyle Shuan. Mr. Kyle. Hello, How are brother. you, my brother? Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. We are doing fine and dandy. We'll go to that view. Space! You have a look at you all green screen. I love it. I, I should have the I should have the camera the other way around because it looks like my uh, my head is a big moon in front of this the planet. <laughs> Something about so if I were, yes, no, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Well, because this show is nothing without a litany of technical glitches uh, for everyone else's amusement, I just want to point out that because there's this kind of interesting split between people that watch the the shorts that I do during the day and people. I know there's a there there's a big Venn diagram crossover, but there's a lot of folks who just watch the shorts during the day and to just hang out for the live streams. And I love both groups. It's very awesome. Uh, James Hayes, we are having a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Uh, Kyle is a star child, says uh, <laughs> Brad. Like at the end of... one reference there. Yes. Or 2010 or something. I can't remember. It was 2001 where they had the, the weird giant space baby. But um, no, today I, I recorded a video because once again, Bank of America has has taken a big steaming dump on Wizards of the Coast in Hasbro. Uh, and if that's not newsworthy, I don't know what is. So I recorded the video I, I, in the morning. I recorded the video. I queued it up. I clicked uh, upload queue. I made a title card. And then I went on having my coffee and everything. And the order of operations was a little messed up. I should have had something caffeinated then done the video because what I actually uploaded was a video from a few days ago. 
but I didn't delete it. I just changed the 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 explanation to say, hey, I'm aware of what I did, and the reason I didn't delete it and just re-upload something in its place was everybody under the video was having a great discussion about it. I guess people that didn't catch it the first time caught it this time and were having so much fun. And I thought, well, who am I to delete such great commentary thread? So I just went back and uploaded the correct video with a correct title card. So like I said, this is the Delver's Dungeon. That's an old Latin phrase that means technical errors or, or own goals, if you like. But anyway, uh, all you are not... All, it, all in all, it's still a lot more professional than uh, when you started. It, 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 it truly is. And that's in, in no small part because of you and like your basically your short science fiction movies that you put together for the credits and, and goading me on and prodding me forward to do. <laughs> uh, Sapphire suggests that uh, we recap yesterday a little bit. Not the, the last session. I, the events of yesterday. I, you know, she wants it's to see you cry again. <laughs> to me. Um, it's, <sighs> Okay, so look, I will do so not not for my own ego's sake, but but to to properly uh, exalt the people who did this. I'm going to compress it down real short. A bunch of people from the Discord, from the chat, in private, uh, and I will make a proper thanks video, and I will name you all there when i say a bunch of people i'm not being dismissive but a number of folks got together and funded a trip for me and my dear wife to go to gary con uh this year um because things have been super duper stressful and they felt that i deserved it and the icing on that already delicious cake was the same group uh, I have a, a side channel where I talk about college football with three other wonderful co-hosts. We, uh, Jess is our stats uh, woman, and she has a greater football IQ than I could hope to have if I lived to be 400 years old. Um, no, Kyle went away. Uh, Bo and John are equally smart and funny. I just said, hey, we should do a web show about Alabama football. And they just agreed to, to do it with me. Um, and so the one thing as an Alabama football fan that I have never done, well, I've done many things as an Alabama, or there's many things I haven't done as an Alabama football fan. They all... Uh, got together and said, not only are we sending Bill and his wife to Gary Khan, we're sending Bill to uh, a game at the Capstone at Bryant-Denny Stadium, a home game for the Alabama Crimson Tide in October of this year. So they didn't just say, oh, we'll send you to Gary Khan, as if just is an appropriate way to say that. They're like, like knocking out two huge things for me, and they surprised me with it. Um, they surprised me with it, uh, and to say I was, I was dumbstruck is an understatement. Yes, I got a little weepy. What can I say? Um, <clears throat> and that is the GoFundMe for people that want to contribute to it. Look, guys, like, subscribe, star like Patreon, like buy me coffee, like super chats. I put nothing on you guys to do anything. Um, but if you want to, if you want to throw into the GoFundMe that they set up, remember I wasn't rattling the cup. All I wanted out of February and March was karma, the universe fate, to make my, my friggin' cars stop breaking down. That's it. And I was juggling things back and forth trying to make that happen. And so it was 
it was these guys. It was you guys who made that happen. And they sprang it on me last night and I got all weepy about it because I'm an emotional guy. I'm not a Vulcan. I'm a Romulan. So if Kyle has his camera and his audio back, uh, there you are. Thank you for coming back. And thank you everyone who contributed to, to that uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all very, 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 very much. No, bring the planets back. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't work very well. It gets all glitchy. I mean, as you can see, it's even just focusing is a struggle for my little uh, cam. Let's let's get Kyle a green screen. That's you know what? Any leftover funds, I'm getting Kyle a green screen. Here, here's five. Let's go, let's go buy some felt and a box of thumbtacks. <laughs> And I, I then have to have a permanent little studio, and uh, there's not really room for that in this place. I've already got my dedicated space in the uh, garage gym. I can't really ask for much more. Well, well, get 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 like some PVC pipe and assemble a frame and and hang your green screen on it. I'm serious. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to be a smartass or anything. That would be oh, cool. That's too well organized for me. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll just stick to this half-assed version. I'm not the one with a successful channel. <laughs> um, was it? Uh, someone was saying, uh, now to make Kyle cry. How to make Kyle cry. How do we make yeah. you cry? Hey, if you give me lots of money, I'll cry too. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Jimmy Invicta says he's going to buy me a camel. Those things don't break down until they die. Uh, hard pass. I'll take a llama. How about a llama? I hate camels. <laughs> did did you did you have to deal with them in close proximity in in your in your other life back in the nineties? Yes, yes, I did. They're vile beasts. Um, they uh, spit horribly. They stink, and they don't even taste good. You know, they, mm. just, they should just be exterminated from the face of the earth. Um, you know, there might be some Arabs in, who are unhappy, but we could just give them horses instead. Horses, exactly. are nice, horses are nice animals, you know, and Arabs yeah. are good with horses too. Anyone who's seen the Lawrence of Arabia will know this. You know. So just ex genocide the camels, leave the horses. There you go. I'm okay with that. I'm entirely okay with that. Greetings, Patty's Parlor. Been a while. It has been a while. We've missed you too. Uh, TJ says 46 drop lowest will make Kyle cry. <laughs> Boy, I just cry. I'll I'll just my shake my head sadly. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone's got their version of power gaming. Why is my camera keep fucking doing this? It keeps blurring out. Did my camera have too much to drink last night? I don't know. I think it's the background. I keep trying to How can I be focusing on the background when there isn't any? It's just like the wall. There you go. Wall and lines. Uh, ah, technology. There you go. I'll just stop the cam. There you go. You don't need to see my face anyway. All right. <laughs> So you're you're the voice behind the filing cabinet then. <laughs> that's, that, that's an urban legend that that Gary, like his early D and D games, to be, he was, uh, you know, people kind of started up this this idea that his early DMing advice said, oh, you should be a disembodied voice. So he sat behind like a a partition when he would run the massive Greyhawk campaign. Uh, once upon a time, but we had uh, Heidi Gygax on, and somebody in the audience asked that question of her, and she said, "No, he never ran D and D like that." So, but you will—you'll run some classic Traveler as a vo as a disembodied voice tonight. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, a lot of people just leave, uh, listen to the stream. Um, yeah, I was. Listen. I was talking about that last night. We we have a lot of folks, and it's fine. It's perfectly okay. Who just they they just put us on to listen. It it's a little weird, like you know, when they're no, I listen I I listen to every show you do, and I'm like, but so many of my shows have visual. Like I'll 
hold up stuff and I'll put stuff on screen. How do you, how do you do? And he's like, uh, or he, they are just meh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we got three of the players here. Um, and we've got Razor and uh, Sapphire and Tammy. Um, they've been waiting very patiently and quietly. Uh, so we should start bringing them in and um, uh, Todd should be in shortly and then and Ricky will be a bit late. But Okay. Well, uh, let us say hey to one of the uh, people who makes the show great. Razor, good evening. Good evening. How is everyone? Uh, I can't complain. <laughs> I truly can't. <laughs> very good. Very good. And of course, uh, the the lovely and talented Sapphire is Jenna. Good evening. Evening. And remember, folks, don't don't discount because it's always the quiet ones. Let's say hello to Tammy. Hey, hey guys. Tammy. Hello. Hello. Girl power. <laughs> the Girl Scouts are here. That's what's important. Yep. yep. We get our bedazzle uh, suits today. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Christopher Sims, good evening. Hello. All right. And uh, here's Todd. He's just rocked up. Hey. Alrighty, let's <laughs> add him to the chat. Tonka Todd, how you doing, buddy? I am here and ready to die or fight or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's travel. It could be all of the above. <laughs> yes. Well, it's true. Uh, two of you are currently wounded and unconscious. Three of you are actually wounded and unconscious. Yep. Reggie, Kinder, and Bubba. All, That's all got right. severely wounded <laughs> in the boarding and or counterboarding actions. <clears throat> last session. All right. Who wants to give us a summary of last session? For all the viewers. <laughs> uh, well, and for yourselves. I've got, okay, here's what I've got. Um, we were, we had the, uh, I can't remember the name of the, of the ship, the Hamburg SPD, Hamburg. Lucky Lady. Yeah. Okay. Uh, came up to our ship and demanded to board, and it had a robotic-sounding voice. So we then decided that since we couldn't outfight them ship to ship, we'd try a boarding action. So we stood by at the airlock inside of it. Three armored individuals looked like Cylons. <laughs> came into our airlock. As they started to open it, we opened fire on them. Um, Reggie shot one, took it down. He was shot in return, dropping him. Um, Quinda, myself, fired the next round, dropping uh, number two. And then the third round I fired, I hit the third one, but I failed to drop him, so he dropped me. <laughs> Bubba finally, yeah. Bubba finally took him down. Uh, Bubba and Jane then conducted a counterboarding going on board the SD, SBD. Oh, and by the way, they were operating in an atmosphere and we had evacuated all air out of our ship. Um, we popped the helmets on the bodies and it was looked there was a cord going from the helmet inside the skull of the individuals. Yep, and also okay. the um, also the base of their neck. Okay. <clears throat> so obviously they were physically integrated into their suits in a way that we don't understand or don't normally do. Anyway, um, Bubba and Jane went on board their ship and in going up a ladder in null g of course bubba wound up doing a spin failed to hit the next person he encountered and was in turn disabled 
Um, and then Jana took, I think she grabbed Bubba and then retreated. Um, then Jana and Tammy proceeded to go and work their way down to engineering where they shut down the power plant after a little uh, tug of war, virtual tug of war with uh, the two crew members that we could identify that were still on the bridge. And then they ran. They got back on board our ship and we decided that we were done and we were going to leave. <laughs> so, um, so I think we're in the process of breaking loose from the Hamburg and getting ready to run. Mm -hmm. With we have uh, Jana, Jane, and our two PCs that are still operable, <laughs> and we have our NPCs that are just kind of sitting there. Come. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't like the NPCs to take the lead. No, yeah, oh no, that's fine. <laughs> and so I think that's where we're standing at the moment. Yeah. Well, I think we kind of figured out that the the unconscious people mm -hmm. will be waking up somewhat shortly. Yeah, they wake up after normally they wake up after three hours um, with their previously zeroed stats now at one. So they wake up very okay. weak, clumsy you know, wheezy or whatever, mm -hmm. um, but they, they are conscious. So that means that the, the person can do things like, um, you know, sit in a spacecraft chair and uh, pilot it, but they can't pull a lot of Gs. Or they can't <laughs> <pass out>. Sorry. <laughs> if they pull a lot of Gs, they'll instantly pass out. Um, yeah. they, they wouldn't be able to do, and they certainly wouldn't be able to do things like combat or whatever. Um, oh, no. I mean, we're, technically, we're... you can... With, with, you know, technically you could do hand-to-hand -hand combat with one strength, but you have a big penalty to your actions. <laughs> well, I so, could, you know, prop my gun up on some kind of support and kind of point it in the general direction, pull the trigger and have the recoil throw it out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, you could do all, all sorts of things, but... Yeah. Um, um, as we're pulling away, whoever has the ability, uh, turn around and shoot at this ship. <laughs> <laughs> It's our, going to be our only chance to take them out. So. Yep. Now, um, really, because you've just got the conscious ones, so Benjo piloting. Uh -huh. You've got Jane as a navigator. Um, and uh, NPC Jaquel as the uh, engineer. Uh, mechanic Yana. Yeah. Um, if you want yep. gunnery, yeah. So Linda... Linda, played by Ricky, yep. is a gunnery officer, and Kinder, played by you, Gary, is a gunnery officer, but you're unconscious. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out of the fight. <laughs> so yeah. until we yeah. get way deep into the system, I'm out of this. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, Linda hopefully will decide, hey, let's just unload on these guys. <laughs> and that it's seems this like a, I, I could imagine Ricky saying, let's unload on. Yeah. Uh oh, we Oops. lost Kyle. Hopefully, he'll be right back. Well, we're waiting on him. I'm going to go use the little boys' room. Be right back. By your command. By your command. Wasn't supposed to hit it twice, but that's okay. <laughs> there you are. Apparently, it was not as big a surprise as we had hoped for. We're still missing your audio, Kyle. Oh, it should be. Um... There you are. And yes, I found a uh, <laughs> I found a soundboard for uh, for um, battle classic battle. I'll, I'll I'll try to not abuse it. Just minimize that probably best. Again, Kyle. Did you got me? Give us a second, Kyle. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, we've got you. All righty. Um, what have you done with the armor that you were wearing? The uh, cyborg armor. Oh, we're keeping it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta bedazzle like GP. We earn this stuff. <laughs> Now, Kyle, will it have to be patched up, uh, repaired? Because, yes. I mean, okay. Yeah, you, That's fine. you have a number of uh, holes in it. It also won't integrate with your um, crew couches to give you the juice for high Gs and all that. Um, so uh, it's more of a thing to be worn for boarding actions and all the rest rather than the thing to, um, a thing to uh, wear when you're sitting around in the ship. Yeah. My audio is quite. Will our regular uh, environmental suits and that fin fit under it? Oh, we've lost your audio again, Kyle. We we can't see the lights on the side of your headphones, so it looks like they're not working. See, he's got red lights. Ky Kyle's a Cylon. Oh no! <laughs> Somebody blast him out the airlock. <laughs> Careful. Um, if they're anything like the Death Troopers, they come back. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can just jet back over and mess us up. Okay, we see the lights now on the headphones. Yeah, well, this is a funny set of headphones. I just bought them um, at the post office of all places, uh, which had um, like a gamer set with a, a keyboard that lights up and all this sort of shit, and um, including this mouse pad. That lights up around the rims when you, <laughs> you plug it in. Um, so this one, these headphones actually have two, oh sorry, three cords. So there's one that I assume is for the, head, the speaker, one that I assume is for the microphone, and then the other one, the USB one, is for lighting it up. <laughs> so interesting. It's really stupid, but <laughs> that's you know. Gamer types. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> us gamers like, are interesting people. Yeah, we, we like the flash stuff that that, that isn't necessarily useful, <laughs> but we uh, like it anyway. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay, it's been three hours, and the three wounded guys haven't woken up yet. Did we? So did, we Who's do looking any, did anybody fire on the ship, or are we just going to kind of gloss over that? Nobody's fired on the ship, no. The three hours have been completely quiet on your side, and they've been quiet on the other side. The, the other ship, the reactor is still powered down. I mean, there's a lot of heat coming from it because it's still got all that molten cool, uh, metal coolant that'll take days to cool down. But right. um, I would have been in the medical bay taking care of them. Yeah. So I'm going to get like smelling salts and like wave it underneath their noses to see. <laughs> Damn it. Wake up. You've slept long yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. They, they all seem pretty. Yeah. Out of here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, all three uh, seem pretty sluggish in that. Uh, I'd give help me them a two... to their stations. <laughs> give me a 2d6 check. Okay. Just ro just roll two d six. All right. That would be an eight. An eight. Okay. Tammy, you could do one too. Okay. Pinch them while you're at it. That's a four. A four. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Sapphire, Yana, you go and say to Tammy and, hang on, 
because you, you were looking for the various drugs in that. And it's like, I'm sure we had 12 of those sedatives, not 11. I'm sure that was a full box before. I'm sure that was 12, not 11. Tammy doesn't remember, though, if it was 12 or 11. No, I don't remember. How many doses are in a box? So, in, well, it's just a dozen in a box. And so there's, you think there's one vial missing. All right, which one of you is a smackhead? <laughs> <laughs> you asked that as if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Stop taking medical supplies recreationally. Please. I'm going to look at Tammy and say, I think we're short one. That expense. I think we're short one, so we're going to have to kind of keep an eye on things here. Oh, man. I know. So they're sluggish, but they're kind of awake? No. <laughs> they're, they're, thoroughly out. they're thoroughly out. <sighs> They're thoroughly out, which it might mean the wounds were worse than you thought they were, but you don't think there's anything magical about laser wounds compared to regular ones. Um, a couple of them got a little bit of vac bite for when the uh, from when the um, atmosphere was leaking out of their suit. Um, but the, again, there's nothing magical about that. Um, hey, Tammy, want to check on the status on that ship? Maybe we should like try to take it out before it powers back up or something. No, oh, yeah, that might be a good idea. Since it's just the girl power right now. Yeah. Stand a better chance of hitting it when they're not moving versus when they are. Hmm. What would I uh what would I roll? <coughs> um well you need gunnery skill. And if you don't have gunnery skill, you've got a big mullus, but on the other hand, they're not very far away. Um do our I NPCs really have, have any gunny race skill? I only no. have done combat. Uh, Ricky's character is is a gunner. Yep. Let's focus on trying to wake up Ricky's character. <laughs> Damn it, we need you right now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, Ricky... Ricky's character no, is Rick, uninjured, but Rick, he's absent. Rick, Rick. He's absent. Ah. Yeah, it's because he's not here. Yeah, he's, he's not here, so he can't do much. Okay, um, so you think they should have woken up by now from their injuries. So if they're asleep now, maybe it's because of the missing sedatives, in which case you can just give, you, give them a stimulant to wake them up. On the other hand... On the other hand, if they are too injured and you give them a stimulant, it may actually kill them. So could I do that you don't know. So you've only got medic one. Okay. If you were medic two or three, you might have a better idea. But we're just Let's with let medic them sleep one, it out in... because we don't want to risk them. Experiment on Quinda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. We'll let them sleep it out, but let's let's take care of this other ship if we can. And then yep. time isn't that critical, and we got to figure out how the hell they got more stimulant or not stimulant, but uh, sedative. <laughs> yeah, if that's what it is. Yeah. Do we have a stowaway okay. on board? Damn it! Okay, I so mean, a lot of suspicions about what's happened, but I'm not gonna. I'm watching for a stowaway or something wonky. Yeah, that's a good idea. I wouldn't have thought that. We're keeping our armor on. <laughs> yep. Oh, you <laughs> put your armor back. Ready. All yep. right. You put your Damn armor back. Straight. <laughs> well, Jaquel has, um, Jaquel has had a look at the armor, and she says, "This is pretty amazing stuff." She says. They have incorporated the AI into this armor. Ah, fudge. You see how in this chest piece, do you see how like when you wear it, it looks like you're pregnant or something? 
she says. Okay, That's we're because, taking the armor off like, and we're hiding the, we are locking the armor up. We are locking it up. I concur on that one, definitely. We are, we're locking that stuff up said, until we can disable it. That's probably why they were plugged into it, you know. Um, I think it gives them some sort of, you know, augmented reality or something like that. We're locking the armor up, yeah, and then Tammy's going to work on it to disable that whole system later on <laughs> after we get rid of the ship and get our people awake. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we should definitely keep it, says Jacquel. Yeah, but it's getting locked up right now, though. Hmm. Yes, yes. Mm. Taking mind control, sneaking <laughs> on board through the armor. Damn it, AI. <laughs> you guys suck. Talk about hacking. <laughs> All right. Um, and I thought the germs on board were bad. <laughs> this is a whole <laughs> level, level of virus. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So uh, who's going to try to fire on the ship? And fire on the Hamburg? You said someone was going to try to fire on the handbook? Yeah. You want to do it, Tammy, or should I? Well, I don't have gunnery. Neither do I. Do <laughs> you? So uh, the I'll let you be the one to do it first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it two again? Yeah. it's uh, Skill things are always uh, 2d6. Okay. All right. You don't have the gunnery skill, so you'll be firing at minus four. Okay. It's like, oh, this fiddly bloody thing. Why do they make it so complicated? <laughs> okay. So, yep, so I got um, a nine minus four is five. Five, yeah. So uh, you fire your lasers and uh, they just... They go harmlessly past the thing. It don't even hit the thing 500 meters away. Your turn, Tammy. Okay. <sighs> um, that would be a negative, so that's not a good thing. <laughs> we have to use the force here, apparently. <laughs> it's a good thing they're not moving. Well, I really wasn't paying attention when they were showing us how to do it. I didn't think I'd actually have to do it. <laughs> Don't tell them, okay? It's just you and me. Benjo says, "Look, if you if you're going to start shooting at people, maybe we should like wake the guys up, since they're reluctant to wake up." So, can I calculate if it's just one spread across three? How much more time would they need? Oh, they'd be out for a day. Oh, a day. Oh, yay. Because yeah, it's, it's vials. It's vials that have got, like, stacks of doses in them. So who is our crew member that has the gunnery skill? Um, Not present. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So Ricky's got gunnery skill and uh, Reggie. I'm sorry, to... Ricky. We're gonna have to yeah, wake you up. <laughs> well, no, well, Rick, no, Ricky is conscious, Ricky is awake, but um, oh, okay. The player is physically not here, so he won't let us let the character do anything. Well, not much. Uh, not anything that might significantly affect the outcome, because then then becomes the. Yeah, I don't have any a still <laughs> target that is dead in the water. <clears throat> considerably change the outcome? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's only 500 meters away and it's packed with missiles and a nuclear reactor. Just just pop me with some adrenaline, please. <laughs> well, we, going, going our wake pilot up. can probably... Well, we can... Using maneuver jets, actually back off slowly and get about a kilometer away. Yeah. So Tammy can do that while I go wake up our captain. <laughs> okay. All right. Give us a medic check then. That 
I do have one skill in. Yep. Okay. And that would be additional one on my roll. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that would be nine. Nine. Okay, yep. He wakes up, so he'd be a bit groggy and that, but uh, yeah, he wakes up with a pound in his head. I hate getting shot. <laughs> Well, we need you to come and shoot back and take care of them. <laughs> Lovely. Where's my gun? Uh, you're using I'm going to shoot who shot me. I want you to patch them up so I can shoot them again. Oh, you're <laughs> taking out their whole ship. There's not going to oh, be any patching. That's even so better. I'll have them, I'll okay. have them walk to <laughs> wherever we need to go. If it's the bridge or a firing deck or There's whatever. An alert. There's an alert. Boop, boop, boop. Through the ship. Oh, and Benjo says... The Hamburg's radiators are deploying and its reactor is powered up. Its missile and laser ports are closed, though. We're moving faster. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll find my way to, to a, uh, a weapons emplacement. And Tammy's yep. backing us off. <laughs> That's a ship full of those robot bastards that shot me. <laughs> well, I'm just going to shoot them right back. That's the idea. They still have multiple lasers and uh, missiles if they choose to open their ports and fire them, fire them at you, that is. Okay. Though, you think, though you think it might take them a little bit to, because um, you, know, you don't just power up and everything switches on instantly. Okay. Um... I will uh hmm. <coughs> it's easier oh. to stagger in zero G at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heck, I can run with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well once weapons in place i'll uh i'll proceed to get a lock on them yep what uh you, you want to i presume what you, uh what are you aiming for um let's see you say the drive section uh i i, I could hit that um you'd have to maneuver the ship to be uh, behind the drive. Mm. Can would, we aim for the bridge? That would take you a few minutes. And yes, you can aim for the bridge. The bridge is I'll, usually physically within the ship, but yeah. All right. I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of tickle that spot with uh, one of the lasers and see if that uh, convinces them to stop. I got a total of nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, so you hit um, with your laser. It, um, Like I said, it's just a point defense laser. It's meant to take care of um, missiles and things, not so much ships. But this close might do some damage. So roll a 1d6. Mm -hmm. Six. I got a five. Five. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. You seem to have done some damage. But before Benjo can have a look through the radar and report, um, the lights across the ship go off and there's a big clunk or series of clunks through the ship. And uh, Benjo rep uh, reports and you can see on your own panels, the emergency powers come on. Your reactor has gone down. Down in engineering, you hear even louder clunks, and you hear an unpleasant hissing sound. Damn it. I'm running down to engineering. Yes, with please. With my weapon, with with my weapon drawn. <laughs> Welcome to the game, TK. We're about to die. Who are we, who are, who are we shooting? <laughs> well, you were just shooting at the Hamburg. 
Yeah, I don't know if you caught up on the events of last week. Uh, I'm flying completely blind. I've been completely <laughs> focused on my thesis, and I'm a terrible human being. So, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so terrible. That's all right. Uh, quickly get Ricky up to speed on what happened. Uh, so last week we had a boarding action and counter boarding action against the shipload of Cylons. Yeah. Uh, we thought we dispatched the small crew, uh, although myself and uh, Quinda were badly injured. I had been brought back uh, to consciousness with a little adrenaline and uh, Quinda's still out. Somebody doped us. Somebody on the ship doped those of us who were injured so we couldn't get back up on our feet. Um, but I, I at least got, like I said, got the adrenaline. I went to a gunnery emplacement, shot at the ship, and just after I did so and burned a nice baseball-sized hole in their hull, uh, our reactor started powering down. Where's so, the where's the doctor? Uh, in inspecting the reactor. I'm going to go put two shotgun shells in her head. <laughs> <laughs> she was the one who woke him, woke him up. She, no, got, there's we have a no. Somebody has snuck on board that we did not know about that is causing this. They're probably the one that drugged us. Okay, Sapphire, that's valid. Sapphire is a medic, and uh, Tammy is a medic. They're the, so. they're the ones with medic skill. The clo apart from them, the closest you've got to someone with medic skill is your uh, Zeno archaeologist, Jaquel. I'm, I'm still going to shoot that doc when I find her. Um, okay. Uh, all right. I, I won't intervene. Y'all go ahead. I'll, I'll come in at the end. The end of the round. Jaquel, Jaquel's up on the engineering deck if you want to shoot her. <laughs> Sapphire has run down to the reactor. No, um, Sapphire's fine. She, she, she has a pass. <laughs> and um, I'm not sure what Tammy is doing. What are you I doing, Tammy? Oh, you're, up, you're up on the bridge. The... Oh, you're up Tammy. on the bridges together. Tammy and oh, you're going all the way down to the reactor. Yeah, the girl power has to stick together. <laughs> I think Jaquel is getting shot. <laughs> Where are my dice? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Um, you uh, you get down to uh, you get down to the reactor, and uh, yeah, you're going to need your vac suits. You're going to need your hard radiation vac suits here, or to send the drones in, because you you can look through that like there's an airlock type of port that reinforced with radiation shielding and all that sort of stuff, and look through the, the little viewport, and it just it's full of steam. It's, it's full of steam, and are there vac suits here that we can uh, quickly don? Uh, yeah, yeah, but there's uh, importantly there's drones as well. <laughs> Can we see through the drones then? Yeah, yeah, they're li okay. little remote control things. All right, let's send a. Drone just think in. like. Just think like a um, um, like a police bomb robot kind of thing. So you've All got right. uh, four reactor drones. Um, but, oh, sorry, there's space for four reactor drones. There's only two present in intake on the high line. Um, the compartments have charging plates. Each time a reactor drone returns to a storage compartment, is automatically decontaminated for an hour. Um, the cycle can be overridden from the fl flight engineering deck on the main deck and from the keel. Um, yep, so, that, so you've got the two reactor drones, so you can send them in to go and have yep. a look. Yep. See what's going on. See if uh, we've been sabotaged. Yep. The whole turnaround is fair play type thing. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, Bill, yep. let's do that. <coughs> All right. Um, so you pilot the drone in. Um, so make a mechanics, engineering, elect electrician, something like that. Make a, a check for there. I have two skill in mechanics. Okay. okay. And I'll do the electronics. Okay. So that's a total of 12. Um, and that is a total of nine. Yep. Okay. So you see that there was a, a valve. It's actually the 
water valve that um, puts the water around the reactor to when you're using the reactor to um, provide thrust for your uh, ship. Um, and that has blown. Um, and so the reactor shutting down as a safety mechanism because usually if like all the other pipes around the blowing, then something bad's happening in the reactor. Um, you don't know if more is happening with, further within the reactor, but that water coolant has blown, so your drive is effectively disabled at the moment. Um, Let's get the the fast, one of the drones the working on that right away. Well, yeah, you'll need to um, you'll need to get some parts in there too, um, because it's just a valve that goes. And when when you look at it, it has been blown up. It didn't blow itself up. It has been blown up. There's scorch marks on the wall nearby, um, and and there's little fragments of wire floating around. Um, so somebody put an explosive on there. So we have been sabotaged. Hmm. Oh man. So does anybody else think it's bad that I'm going to go shoot Jekyll? <laughs> I'm not there. Yes. I don't have any input one way or the other. Let's let's hold off on shooting Jekyll for Jekyll presumably would think it's bad. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> for just a for just a little bit, let's hold off on that. <laughs> well, Jekyll was the only NPC mentioned, right? Well, there's also Benjo is up on the um, on the flight deck, isn't it? the uh, pilot? Yeah, but Benjo's useless. <laughs> <laughs> if Benjo did all of this, it would probably be the same thing as oh, I don't know, Jar Jar Binks doing ever do, like becoming a Sith Lord, <laughs> like or being elected as congressman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Senator. Senator, you can, you can get even better. You you can you can pay you can pay enough people to become a senator. You can't pay enough people to become a Sith Lord. <laughs> Just ask JFK. Um, <laughs> it's true. He bought his way in. So I'm going to gather the materials needed for the drones. Have one drone come out, grab the stuff, and port it in for the other. And while they're doing that, fixing it quickly. I'm going to look around to see if I can find out who may have been down here sabotaging. Okay, um, you've just got a couple of minutes in between handling the, the drone because uh, the drone's not autonomous. That would be artificial oh, okay. intelligence. Um, okay. But uh, there's, I mean, there's things like you get the parts and you put them in a little mini airlock that, that slots through, uh, you know, a bit like. Um, a, a bit like uh, like old, you know, Downton Abbey's thing from the kitchen to the lounge room kind of thing, to the dining room. It slots through and then they can take it out. Uh, the the drone can take it out and put the parts in and then start welding and all that. Yeah, dumb waiter, that's the word. Um, so that you yourself don't have to go into the reactor and expose yourself to 1,200 degree steam and stuff. Um, yeah, I'd rather avoid it. <laughs> yes. And... Um, yeah, so you have to do that, but you know, like while you're slotting it back and forth, you can have a glance around. Has anyone else been here? Well, um, down on um, this deck, over time, you will get a number of people coming down onto this deck. That's the uh, power deck from where you can access the, um, the reactor. Um, normally, that's just the uh, engineering or the payload crew. Like the bridge crew will have nothing to do with the reactor deck, unless this the captain. This is probably kind of... my area. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. So, yeah, is there the is there anything that that sticks out that I didn't leave it? <laughs> um, it's not like we have a big crew. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is true. Okay, uh, just make a two d six roll. Okay. Uh, that would be a nine. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a few tools and things out of place. 
Somebody's yeah, been messing got, down here. <laughs> I, I, I figure, you know, you've never stated that your character is OCD, but, you know, the, that whole business with the space cockroaches and that, that you, you just, <laughs> you've sort of, um, you've got me this, I got this impression that you're the kind of one that, no, the seven eight spanner goes there. Yes, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> A place for everything and everything in its place, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, some things are not in there. Real life, I actually had a highlighter set and I had it in rainbow patterns. That way I could tell if somebody messed with them. <laughs> well, you could be playing your character as a slob. And it's not necessarily the way you and then you do with you are, you, but um, yeah. Anyway, that's, but things are a little bit out of place. I you mean, can't I'm say typically that. not a sociopath. <laughs> typically. <laughs> typically. <laughs> well, I'll just notice, uh, I'll just note, Ricky, that um, I've got a number of uh, uh, friends and relatives in the medical and paramedical, etc. field, and uh, they all enjoy violent action movies. And when they play games, they're really violent too. It's like as if spending all day being compassionate and helping people, they've got to flip around <laughs> the, like karmic balance. Do you, do you want to hear a really sick joke? Okay. <laughs> Is it monetized? No. I'm, okay. a, I'm A, a war historian, and B, someone who was proficient in, mar in, in, in historical European martial arts predominantly from the 14th century. Um, I'm a hemophobe. <laughs> I see blood and I hit the floor. <laughs> there you go. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and I come from a medical family too, which is the sad part. <laughs> well, you didn't miss your profession then. <laughs> so what you're saying is when you go camping, you're the first to call not yet for the medic. <laughs> What's funny is, is I, I've had to do this before. I can administer first aid. I can administer first aid on myself. I'm fine. The moment it stops, the moment the tension's gone, I drop. <laughs> so it's like, okay, bleeding's done. Fuck. And that's <laughs> the way it goes every time. <laughs> I thought you were just going to turn and say you were a pacifist or something after being a war historian and historical. <laughs> Oh no! I am an I am an ardent anti pacifist. I will happily put a six inch hole right through your head. However, <laughs> however and then as soon me. as you see the result, then you fall down. I, yep, that's exactly it. It's it's okay. wait, they're dead. Okay, now I'm gone. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least you can get the job done first. <laughs> so fun fact. All right. So um, you're trying to repair the reactor. Okay. Again, yep. this is something that you can do. It's just a matter of can you do it quickly and or well. So that's what you're rolling for. All right. Tammy can uh, help you too. There'd be electrics involved. Okay. I've rolled a 10 and then I've got level two mechanic. Okay, so it's 12. That's good. I rolled a total of nine. Good, good. All righty. Um, all righty. So it's going to take one hour for the fixing to be done because you're moving around in 1,200 degree steam uh, and you've got to have a special kind of welding equipment for that temperature and blah 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 you have to reverse the polarity or something i don't know and um uh yeah so it's going to take an hour to get the fix happening the All main right. act of the primary hyperdrive motivator has been polarized you'll have to replace it yeah so um uh yeah so you've got an hour when the ship while the ship is on battery power only so you've got life support happening and you've got the maneuvering thrusters happening, but that's it. You can't fire lasers. You can't engage your main drive. Is there like 
a moon or a planet nearby that we could like scoot yeah, you're behind. Orbit around and hide? <laughs> you're in orbit around Gibson. And I'm they're in orbit with you. Hide. Let's they're sharing hide. orbit with you. They're, they're like, it's like the space shuttle in Mir or something, except you're not docked. You're just in orbit together. Yeah, you can't hide. All, all you can do is, like, when your main drive's working, you can go to a higher or lower orbit or, or pull out of orbit and go flying off. But um, at the moment, all you can do is just adjust your distance between them slightly. Well, let's try to get farther away. <laughs> right. We're going to do a zigzag pattern. <laughs> <laughs> like we're sailing <laughs> through the orbit. <laughs> Make ourselves yeah. harder to hit. <laughs> well, yeah. Speaking of being harder to hit, I may as well climb my way up on the guns. So I'll 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 yank whoever's out of the chair and put myself there. Nobody's in the chair at the moment. It's um down on uh who's who's the payload officers. So you're one of the payload officers and uh yep. Kinder's the other payload officer. So are you guys gonna wake up um Bubba and Kinder? Do I pass them on my way up? Yeah. They're cool. Then, yeah. I'll wake them up on my way. Yeah. Well, someone with medic should probably wake them up. I mean, you could oh, just jab, you could oh, just you jab them adrenaline. Well, Reggie, the captain. Oh, no, sorry. He, he doesn't have medic. Who's the other one with medic? Um, <laughs> the Girl oh, Scouts so fixing and, and the, the uh, radiator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reactor. They, they fix things and they fix people. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, they're not so different, right? <laughs> oh, anyway. I, can, I consider them different. Um, when things break in the house, uh, uh, my young son, um, he made the comment once because like, uh, my wife was fixing a doorknob or a water spout or something like that. And um, and I've always done heaps of first aid and I uh, help people out in the gym and all the rest. And he just says, um, Mama fix fixes things and Papa fixes people. <laughs> And that's because I'm not squeamish, and also I am patient, patient with people, but I have no patience at all for machines. And my yep. wife is the reverse. She's not at all patient with people. <laughs> but it's very like, patient with machines. All I can think of is episode four, where Luke, go, where, where Luke goes, that droid has a bad motivator. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. I would just, like, blast the droid and send it to oblivion. <laughs> and very different story. I will, um, once uh, Ricky's character is in seat in the gunneries, I'm going to very gingerly pull myself out and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go find our erstwhile uh, space archaeologist con lady and have a heart to heart with her. <laughs> yep. She's in engineering. Um, she, yeah, she's in engineering and she's monitoring all the boards. And she's in communication with um, with Tammy and Sapphire to uh, about getting the thing right. running again. What's a sit rep, Doc? She said it's going to take them about an hour to repair it. All right, board clean up. No, no. What's happening with the Hamburg? She says I haven't heard anything from Benjo. Uh, right now, it's as far as I know, it's still holding position. I gave him a little bit of uh, concentrated sunshine just before the lights went out here. Um, how's the rest of the board look? Everything, uh, everything working? Everything else seems fine. Excellent, excellent. Um, hey, listen, I smashed my chronometer against the uh, bulkhead when I was uh, when I was getting into it with those uh, guys in the suits. Uh, no, I guess I didn't see them come out of the suits, and I've only been what when whatever it was over on the ship. I don't know if those were whatever. You uh, you you handy with electronics and stuff? Can you take a look at it for me? I mean, later, but at what? Uh, at my chronometer. It's uh, I, I left it on the gunnery seat. I just I didn't know if you were good with electronics and that sort of thing, timepieces and all. Um, I know a little bit about them, but I mean, I just, you know, th those suits have got AI in them. I could identify that much. 
Oh, those, things were, those, those, those things were cyborgs, not not robots. Huh. That's interesting. So, so they, they've got a... By the way, um, you haven't mentioned otherwise, so you've still got the bodies of those three guys in your uh, in your airlock. Sure. They're deceased Marines, uh, Essa, Luther, and Strawman. They, they had their names on the uniforms. Okay. Well, I'll give them a burial and see here in a few minutes. But... Um, so there, there's AI in their battle dress. Is it, you another, tell an, another alarm, and Benjo's voice comes over the uh, uh, ship comms, and he says uh, the hamburger's retracted its radiators. That's what they normally do just before combat, and it opens its missile and laser ports. Shit. Well, I guess we'll have to continue this discussion later. Um, Can anyone say TPK? <laughs> also, don't yell at me for cursing on stream about getting you demonetized. You just did it yourself. So I can bleep and oh, bleep whatever I bleep and well see you bleep and... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will pull my way up to the uh, uh, up to the, the gunnery station that I was already at, and we'll see if we can swat some missiles down. With what? We have no power. Exactly. Oh, that's right. Are, you're, you're, you're fight, you have no bullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good idea. Well, maybe if the reactor comes online before they start lobbing missiles, I'll at least be in the right place. So that's the only reason my butt's in the chair. What else am I going to do? Sit and play with a crane? Um, R Reggie, like. Uh, Sapphire I can tell you how much dose she gave to you, so you can go in and give them a dose of uh, the old adrenaline. You just put it in the IV bags. It doesn't take any real skill. So as long as we die? <laughs> Wake up, guys. We're about to be blown into a million frozen particles. <laughs> well, at least they can at least they could see it. Thanks. I feel like I'd leave them comatose. <laughs> yeah, I almost would rather be asleep through the fight because if I'm going to die... You, know? you just want to evade blame for what's happening. <laughs> Damn straight. Yeah. I went to sleep and never woke up. Okay. <laughs> um, I will. Uh, I have an interesting thought. Uh, if, the bodies if I, and jettison them. I don't, uh, I don't think jettisoning them as chaff is going to work. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> Not like run silent, run deep, or you can put a couple of crewmen in the torpedo tubes and make them think that death forged us. Uh, no, I'm just maybe that's what they're after. I I don't think so, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'll give uh, it's you know what I'll give them the adrenaline. Well, here's the good news: you guys are awake. Here's the bad news: you probably didn't want to be. Uh, main power's out and out probably for another 50 minutes and our friends the toasters across the way there are very angry at us <laughs> to the tune of I don't know 40-50 kilotons per <laughs> and all we've got is harsh language anybody here a believer want to lead us in some prayers or hymns or, or, or chanting or something like that um, I will happily sing my death song Okay, can't can't we just crash on the planet, we're with Captain? I'm sorry. What? Uh, there's some crosstalk. What? What do you say, uh, Razor? Oh, I'm saying, uh, hail Odin! Get your Valkyries ready. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was that you were saying, Bubba? <laughs> Why can't we just uh, crash land on the planet? No, no drive, my friend. Can't, can't fire up the mains. No, you know, we, 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 we've got gravity. Gravity. Yeah, you, will eventually, you will eventually land on the planet. Yeah, but I mean, eventually, planet. yes, but... We don't have also, any ability to slow down so that we don't go splat when we hit. Also, this, this was the planet where you killed TJ Hooker? <laughs> <laughs> um, question. <laughs> question. Oh, you got the into suits... The 
please. So the suits that have the AI in them that we've like locked up. Can yeah. we tell? Are they connected to the AI on the AI on the ship? Um, you can't tell at the moment. You'd have to fiddle with them and uh, and have a look. Well, let's get our. But remember, the only person PhD who's looked lady. at the only yeah. So uh, yeah, Jaquel's the only one who's looked at them so far. And let's get her to look at them and see about like torturing it or something if they're connected it might knock them <laughs> out of their their game <laughs> well install windows vista on you <laughs> no, windows, windows 95 <laughs> <laughs> all right um she's standing up from her seat to doing so and uh the hamburg broadcast to your ship and it says this is the josephite ship hamburg commanded by lieutenant commander duke fabian to the rogue ship eminent domain commanded by the criminal reggie willie you are to surrender immediately all crew have 30 minutes to be outside the ship unarmed in their vac suits or you will be fired upon and your ship destroyed do we have any radio communication outside i mean brought able to broadcast at all yeah yeah you can hear broadcast I, from down on Gibson. Well, there's a uh, difference between reception and broadcast. All right. I, yeah. I, I, I get on you the PA. Broadcast, your broadcast won't be very strong because you've just got um, battery power. But usually um, a, a planet's traffic control will be good at receiving. This one isn't so great because it's not, you know, a high-class starport. I was just going to say, send out a mayday under attack by a rogue AI ship identifying as a Hamburg warship. Yep, you can send out a mayday. <laughs> Benjo happily does so. Um, and um, yeah, Jaquel says, you still want me to do that, Captain? Want you to do what? Start Torture fiddling the, the uh, armor. AIs. <laughs> um, actually, I I had a I had a uh, an idea, but I guess we're sending the mayday as far as fiddling with the uh the the ai armor stuff um no because if we get caught with it once again we're we're all gonna die uh I'll jettison it then i guess yeah Throw, un, unless there unless it just plugs in like a module and you can undo a couple of latches and yank it out and pitch it out an airlock it plugs in I think we take holds over. She holds up the. <laughs> she holds up the cord. <laughs> it plugs in. She says. That's not what I meant. Just jettison it, would you? <laughs> All right. Damn it, okay. I I'll, I had I'll make good armor too. <laughs> oh, she says. Okay. Uh, what about the the laser weapons? Because they Keep plug up. into the armor too. Is the, the is the armor the power source, or is it some kind of targeting rig, or what? Uh, presumably the power source is somewhere in this armor. There's a battery or something in there. I don't know. We don't have time. Uh, to so a power. I mean, there's. But uh, you guys took the lasers onto the other ship with the armor, but you hadn't you hadn't plugged it in. So presumably, yeah. Um, Just. Chuck power, it. But you, don't, you don't know if there's AI on the lasers too or what. You don't know. You, once you have a look at it, you'll know. But at the moment, Question. you don't. Yeah. Um. Can someone can someone climb in those suits? Yeah, yeah. we were in them. Okay. Yep. What's stopping us from doing a reverse boarding action on them? Yep, you already did that. Um, the, I mean, the again. Girls, girls. Oh, again? Um, nothing. There's a physical tether between your ships. It's only like a personnel tether. It's only like a like a, a strong cable. Um, because when when they were coming back, they had to basically jump across because they didn't have like man maneuvering unit things. Um, so they had to just jump across. So they they took a tether. And they jumped like 500 meters, like the last part of the um, intro credits. So with Kinderbub going across, so they they jumped across. They arrived on the other ship, 
they're on back on the um, eminent domain. They clambered across it, clamped themselves on, and then crawled in the airlock. And then, and then the second one came back. Question. Well, yeah, go ahead. Didn't we determine that originally there was like 60 crew members on board that ship? Well, yeah, that would be the normal complement. Right. That's what I was asking. Yeah. We, six, uh, yeah. We, all, we identified only two additionals, but we, we didn't have a full, you know, sweep of the entire ship. Yeah. Well, you killed three, the three Marines that came aboard. Right. Um, there was one guy shooting at you from the bridge mm -hmm. and you believe you wounded him. And then there was a second guy, a second uh, back suited person behind him who, stood, who pulled him out of the way once he'd been shot. I mean, if we're going to die, right, and we're dead in the water here, I'll take a fight in a hallway against where, where their numbers will count for nothing. The Over problem is death. what has happened is whoever hits first takes out the other. That's <laughs> what's happened. We've <laughs> lost one. They've lost one. They, we've lost one. They've lost one. There's only three <laughs> shooters left on our ship. Mm -hmm. How much time is left on the repair? Four minutes. So if we can hold out for four minutes, we get our power back. So everybody get into the guns and everything else like that. So as soon as we get the power back... It's, we'll it's go four out minutes. Blaze of glory. <laughs> four minutes, and um, yeah, and you've got another. Um, after that, you'll have another twenty minutes before they start shooting at you if they keep to their timetable. Hey guys, um, I have a little bit of a plan here. All right, I'm going to put the three corpses in our own hard suits. And kick them out the airlock and make them think we're uh, making our way over or that we've at least left the ship. Sure. It, 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 won't work, it won't work for that long, but if it gives them pause, it might buy us a couple extra moments to do, to, to, to do something other than, than just die. So, any. Anybody good with vac, vac suits? Meet me in uh, airlock number three. We're gonna we're, we're gonna stuff these guys in. Heading. There's another shutter runs through the ship. There's been a second explosion. <laughs> Freaking oh, a. What blew up this time? <laughs> okay, um, so there was a, a one of the uh, hydrogen liquid hydrogen tanks. Exploded. Uh, yeah, Somebody's um, got to track down the saboteur. The and right. and uh, so now your ship is just doing this very slow spin because there was that. Yep. yep. Cool. And we're attached by a cable, so so are and, they. And, um, and uh, yeah, there's a big leak outside the, the pipe. There's a pipe outside and there's a leak. So somebody or something is going to have to go outside to repair it. Drone? A little drone work out there? Um, well, most of your drones aren't designed to go outside. Normally, they have a person to do an EVA. Most of. Yeah, so let's see. Are. Yeah. So let's send the drones that are. Uh, you've just got the two reactor drones. So one is inside. And one is inside. You could try to rig up the reactor drone, but the drone, like it's got a physical cord. Mm -hmm. So you have to rig it to go out through your payload bay or through your um, through your airlock. All right. Um, well, that's that's all we can do. I'm uh, send the bodies out. I'm doing and then that. Try to track down the saboteur. All right, I'm gonna get on the radio. Try and make my voice sound as ragged and harried as possible, and say, "All right, you sons of bitches, you killed just about all of my crew, and my ship is falling apart. Here we come, you metal-clad bastards." 
when we and to make the bodies move in that direction <laughs> i will not depressurize the airlock before i open it so they go whoosh <laughs> it just puff out yeah yeah it's out and they just sort of drift and they, they kind of hang there <laughs> So they hang there just outside your airlock. Okay, that's just fine. Like, yeah. Okay, on the plus side, your reactor comes back on now. Power's running through the ship. Keep working the problem, people. Drone, yep. uh, outdoor drone status on the hydrogen leak. And let's find the saboteur so we don't have to fix another thing before we can get our asses out of here. I know I'd like to rest and 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 just rest. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rest for the weary. Okay, so <laughs> let me get this straight. We know the saboteur is not one of our party members. Do you? No, <laughs> we don't. But I'm going to go under the assumption. Personally, I blame Bill, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. But would Bill blow up his own ship because, well, let's put it this way. How much money have we paid to fix this damn thing? Okay, so it's not the I captain. don't know. It depends how much Bill wants to stop playing travel and start playing D&D. &D. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> don't put that on. <laughs> um, while the party's doing this, because really there's no point sitting up in guns while all of this is going on, because I can't do anything up there until the power comes on. Um, the power has come back on. The power just came on. I, I'm, I'm aware. I mean, I mean during that time. Hmm. Um, Find the saboteur! Find the saboteur! I would like to round up the NPCs, including the doctor, and force them into an airlock at gunpoint. <laughs> Question: How do you? How does your character tell the difference between a PC and an NPC? Well, I'm going to put it this way: the reason why I'm saying NPC and PC here is so I don't have to go. So I don't have to go through everybody individually. Specifically, <laughs> it would be the doctor that other um, Jaquel, the other uh, Banjo and Jaquel are the only yeah NPCs. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to start with, well... No, the ones I'll, that stayed I'll on board the whole time? <laughs> I'll leave Doing Banjo nothing? <laughs> um, so, if anything, uh, once you're done evacuating the suits via airlock, I can at least march them in there as gunpoint and, you, at, march them in there as gunpoint and use it as a holding cell. And say, if there's okay. another explosion, I'm jettisoning all three of you. All right, Sapphire, so you... You start working on the drone and you very quickly realize it just won't be able to reach down to where the leak is down near the engine. All right. So I it's put a vacuum good. suit on. I bring yeah. the tools I need and then I climb off and, and do the and repair. You, yeah. You'll probably need um, the two of you out there. Girl power. <laughs> Fixing the damn ship again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I did adrenaline everybody. What is what is Bubba doing, uh, Todd? All right, so Bubba is up. Bubba and Kinder is up. You're up with your stats at one. Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bubba is uh, be bedazzling uh, his his. Spacesuit. If I'm if, if I'm fixing to die, I'm gonna look good dead. <laughs> you know, I, I question his judgment, but I won't question his sense of style. <laughs> Valid. Work it, baby. All right, keep keep working on the. Uh, Keep, keep keep working on the hydrogen line. What are they doing, by the way, when we sent uh, our, uh, our our corpse sickles to them? They haven't done anything as yet. Um, they haven't sent any further messages. They've we have a problem. Reactors. Yep. I just uh, if 
the other two go out on the hull to start working on it, they're going to see that. Mm -hmm. I see nothing. What, which which <laughs> side is is the uh, is the leak on? Well, the ship it uh, it doesn't matter because the ship is spinning around now slowly. Okay. Well. Don't have so, a choice. Yeah, so you guys have to be firmly clamped on, and you know, as you're holding on, your body starts sort of drifting off from the centripetal force, and then you have no, to pull yourself. No, we have down. magnetic handholds too. We are crawling <laughs> our asses across there. Yep. So you, so quietly. You, you go out into the void and you crawl your asses across down the ship towards the uh, towards the end, where you see the liquid hydrogen venting off into space. So we take our handy dandy gorilla tape and shut that shit up. <laughs> you got a spare bit of pipe and your duct tape. <laughs> yeah, damn it. All right. <laughs> we put that shit everything. on everything. <laughs> exactly. It's good for everything. The Hamburg broadcast back. You have 15 minutes. <laughs> Oh, we got 15 minutes to fix the ship and get the hell out of here. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, if, if we can get this vent closed, <laughs> Tammy and I'll hang on and let's get our asses out of here. <laughs> we'll be like the dogs <laughs> out hanging their heads out the window while we're they going through warp... space. <laughs> they have full warp, right? They have warp drive too, right? That's right. They are faster than us. They can outgun us. The only hope we have is to jettison the only people we know that could possibly be guilty <laughs> <laughs> and at least die standing in invading action. How long is it going to take them to fix the issue, Kyle? I don't know if they can fix it at all. Uh, give us a roll, Girl Scouts. All righty. Okay. Eleven. Ooh. Six bonus. total. Six total, yeah. One out does the other. Yeah, uh, it's more of a plumbing problem than an electrical problem anyway, you say. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're putting a bit of pipe in there and, and trying to do some uh, welding in the vacuum. Um uh, as always, the problem is not doing it. It's doing it well or quickly. You can At only this do point, one we're doing it quickly. <laughs> no, quickly. I thought so. <laughs> I thought I'd check. Okay. So well. <laughs> oh. It's just so, got to function. It doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Tammy was two short and you were three above. So that's um, a plus one. All right. So uh, roll 1d6. Okay. And that's a five. Five. Okay. All right. So in um, seven minutes, it's going to be ready. Okay. <laughs> that gives us five, six minutes to spare. So we're going to quickly, after this thing is patched, we're crawling back to the airlock to get back in. <laughs> Where would the screw be without the Girl Scouts? <laughs> they even do the successful assaults as well. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yep, so you keep plugging away. There's six minutes to go. We're working on real time here, guys. What are the rest of you doing? I'm still frog. I'm frog marching. I'm frog marching them. You, you you're all think I'm joking. You're if bending. nobody stops me, okay. I will jettison them. Why are you... Uh, okay. I'm going to... Gwenda's going to be like, what, what are doing? you doing? Are you... Why are you doing this? Let me put it this way. Is there some invisible spy on the ship? Is cloaking, is invisibility technology that we have? No. Okay. That means it has to be one of us. I've bled with you. 
the captain ain't going to do it. The mechanics are the only ones fixing the ship. Bubba's too big of an idiot. <laughs> I love him. He's too dumb to betray anyone. He's too dumb to betray us. And I also know it sure as shit ain't me. That leaves three people. I'm going to put all three of them in an airlock. And if three. Speak, they all die. We only have two NPCs. Yeah, I was going to say, who's the third? <laughs> Is the Yourself doctor or? named Jaquel then? Is that what I'm confused about? Benjo okay. and Jaquel are the only NPCs. Yeah, yes. Benjo and Jaquel. And then... Well, and then there's our... Then there's the doc, right? The, no, uh, the, the PhD. Yeah, yeah. Yep. She's, that's, that's, that's the She's the xenoarchaeologist. Oh. The one who always wants to keep the AI. Correct. Oh, so there is just you then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so then both of them. And I'll wait. I don't know which one it is. I'm positive. I'm, I'm, I'm 80% sure it's not the pilot. <laughs> but that 20% is still there. But if and you so space have... him, we're not going anywhere. We have a captain. Can he fly? <laughs> Ish. I've seen him land. <laughs> I have ship's boat and navigation. I don't. I don't have actual pilot. I can plot a course, and I can move this thing around in low orbit. So you're saying, well, then that that still only leaves the one person. And my initial comment when I joined the stream this evening was right. I'm going to go put. A slug through the doctor's head. <laughs> the scientist, not the doctor. The scientist. Whatever. Same point. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only. It's it's the only. It logically, like I'm playing this like a game of Clue. I have all the same evidence you do. <laughs> it was the doctor in the work room with the explosive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wouldn't know if he had the opportunity or not because I was knocked out. So, well, scientists. I'm too busy through. fixing stuff, so it's uh, not me. Yeah, we're too busy fixing stuff to make sure we. All right. <laughs> All right. So you take you take poor Benjo. Um, and, no, I'll uh, leave Benjo. I'll, I'll leave. I'll, I'll, leave. I'll, I'll leave Benjo. All right. So you just take in Jaquel. Yeah. But she says. But the captain wa wanted me to, oh, all right, she says, and goes into the airlock. And um, she looks at you appealingly and says, <laughs> and says, you can't do this to me after all we've, after all we've lived together. My after first all we've wife together. was prettier than you. My second wife was smarter than you, and you have no hope of being the third. So just shut up and why are you doing this? I'm not doing anything. You planted two bombs on this ship. You want the AI. Why would I plant bombs on my own ship? And How else? Who else would be here? I don't know. You're we've landed a lot of. We've landed on a lot of places. We've had a lot of mechanics and so on crawling all over, repairing it. This that place has been. This ship has right been repaired now? on. This ship has been repaired on half a dozen worlds. Where did the cockroaches come from? Why would I, you know, erode a ship that I, so I could suffocate to death on it? Why would I do that? She says. Let's put it this way. This all boils down to you refusing to jettison the AI. I didn't refuse to jettison the AI. It's out there now. And I just said we should. It somehow came back. You were the only pro AI member on this team. <laughs> pro AI member. It's true. <laughs> Makes it sound like a football team. Yeah. <laughs> who you were? Who you were barracking for in the Super Bowl? The AI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me, put it, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. You are also one of probably two people on this ship that could drug everyone. Explain that. <laughs> I 
There's about three people on this ship that can drug anyone. Anyway, I'm not a medic. I'm a scientist, not a medic. And that doesn't mean you can't put stuff in a tube and stab someone. <laughs> All right, the um, liquid hydrogen leak has been repaired. Bubba, Bubba comes walking by in his new uh, bedazzled spacesuit, taps uh, Ricky's character on the shoulder and says, hey, I'm going to go moon the other ship out of the front window. You want to go? <laughs> uh, sure, let me just push this button first. <laughs> okay, and he just walks off. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> okay. We've got power. We've got guns. Should we go okay. out fighting, or do we want either? The Girl Scouts are clambering up the sides of the ship back towards the airlock now, and having done hasty repairs. Yep. As soon as they get inside, what do we want to do? We have three choices. I, I say we, we land, land, land. <laughs> The moment we light off our drive, they're going to shoot at us. Mm -hmm. That's a guarantee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chances of us surviving their strike are minimal. So, I mean, yeah, we can try to land. We can shoot at them and hopefully knock them out enough that maybe they won't fire their missiles. We can, in such condition as we are, go out and try to physically board them again. Um, again, we don't know how many of them are still alive. Or we can surrender. We can I'm not one for surrendering. Then Joe says we can always just plume them. Even at 500 meters, the plume will take them out. I mean, it's ben the capital... It's a capital yeah. sentence. In, Survive in this, I'm giving you a raise. Do it's it. It's a capital sentence in, in the whole Commonwealth, but, you know. <laughs> oh. Well, do it. Uh, under the circumstances, I think we could probably legally get away with it, of uh, pluming them. I didn't even thought of that one. We have um, no choice. Yeah. I mean, we know what they are. Not that we can prove it in a court of law, but we know we what they are. Well, we've dumped every piece of evidence we have outside to get fried. Well, that didn't so. seem to change anything all the prior times we tried. I know, I know. Okay, the so. Girl Scouts have arrived back at the airlock, but they're unable to open it because... Yeah. Um, there's a rather an angry Linda Zhao and a rather frightened um, Dr. Jaquel standing in the airlock. Uh, I've got my right, hands girl. up like, what the hell? Come girl, on. You, you in. You in. Linda stays. <laughs> you can squeeze past. Come on, squeeze past. Leave the suits on. God knows we're going to need them here in a you minute. Can't squeeze past. You, you've got her physically in the airlock. Right, so you either have to, you have to leave her, bring her back into the ship. You have to bring yeah, Jacob back into the ship and then let them in, or you have to just close your inner door and then and evacuate the airlock shoot and, her space, out. <laughs> and space to Kel. So as they're coming in, she comes flying out. <laughs> you don't know how bad, how bad I want to do that. You really don't. <laughs> I'll let her back in. The if a bomb player? goes off, she's going to be the first to die. <laughs> <laughs> I will Can't you feel the love here? <laughs> I can't. Okay. I've got to check the air now, too. We've gotten a little paranoid here. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, yeah. you. So you let Jacob back in. Uh, open the outer door. The Girl Scouts come in. The uh, Hamburg messages, 30 seconds. <laughs> I Why are you re entering the... We're going to do what we're going to do. Why are you re-entering your ship? Plume them. <laughs> Bubba has his bare butt 
smash against the front windshield <laughs> of this spaceship, and he's flying the double birds. It's called the full in. moon tonight. This is, uh, this is not the recommended posture for hygiene maneuvering, Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> You break that observation port, you better leave your ass stuck in it to a steel. We can tape Bubba in. I'll do it. Get Benjo into the pilot seat and have him He's in. He's in. earn yeah, this show. No. Earn them. Tammy and I, just to know, Tammy and I still have our suits on. So if worse happens, oh, yeah, I'm putting mine on if I don't have it already. Alive. Well, you guys are just inside the airlock. You haven't had time to go anywhere. I mean, you're, you're going to be smacked around. We're bracing ourselves here with our magnetic attachments, however we can. Yep. Strap yourself in. Yep. Just grab into the hand onto the handholds across. Okay. Yep. You make the roll there, Bill. Strap yourself in. Now, right? now, okay. I'm just going to tell you how it goes. Okay. You get, <laughs> you get ten plus. You plume them, and fuck them up. You get eight plus. You just do some glancing damage. They may get a chance to have a go back. Um, you get fewer than eight. You don't do any damage to them. And then they get a, to have a go at you. I rolled a five. <laughs> yep. okay. I, 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 I rolled a... I'm rolling one dice twice. I rolled a five. Yep. So I need... A, oh. Oh, yeah, well, we've got we to add Benjo's... We've got to add Benjo's skill, though. <laughs> All right, okay. So he's level one pilot, so that takes it to six. Okay, so it just does some glancing damage. What? No, 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 no. I no, haven't no, no. rolled a second die yet. He rolled, he oh, rolled nice. a single he die. Roll. He, he rolled one on oh, a single okay. second die. He rolled five okay. on a single die. Okay. And a six. Oh. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it a 12. Yeah. Makes it a 12. Okay. So is, you plume. We don't have enough neatly. people pissed at us, but we survive. You you plume neatly across the ship. You sort of toast it evenly, because <laughs> as I've said before, the power output of the ship is like ninety five terawatts. It's equivalent to a twenty kiloton bomb going off every second. So even at five hundred meters, five hundred meters away, and that's well, it's about five hundred meters away where the fusion actually occurs. So the, the fusion pellets are firing out the back of the ship through the, the keel rail gun, and they're getting ignited by the lasers, and they light up, and they light up, and then goes across, and it basically just reduces the Hamburg to vapor. So does, does Bubba take any damage since he's been pressing his butt against the front windshield? Bubba's yeah. probably dead. Yes. Anyone who is in, unsecured is going to get injured. Okay, so... Roll one d six. Baba's unconscious because he just barely woke up. <laughs> yeah, roll one d six, and that's the damage that unsecured people take each. Oh year. God! Awesome. <laughs> I take five. Well, Bubba, Bubba is Bubba is is back unconscious again. <laughs> of course, yeah, he's back to being severely. But he has, but he had he has a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, um, the the good doctor, she falls down and goes, ouch, but she's not unconscious. Um, so, Tammy and Sapphire, how'd you go? We were strapped in. Yes. You were in the yeah. airlock, weren't you? No, we're you were in the, airlock, in the strapped airlock. Strapped in. Well, you were in the airlock. Yeah, you stuff. can't be. There's handholds, so that's why it's only 1d6. Oh, fine. <laughs> Got a three. I got a four. So it takes three and four, respectively, to your endurance. Oof. I was hugging uh, the ladder, and I took five. Well, good thing I have started out with nine, so... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you've, you've plumed them. They're gone. And you are now alone in orbit around Gibson. Oh, we are not landed after that. Damn straight, <laughs> we're not. So, do we want to try to find this? Um, I am going to find the saboteur on this ship. Help. I am searching for this shit. I was staring at her. 
plot a sword. I don't know for sure. Let's do a jump. All right. Uh, So I assume that Kinder wants to interrogate uh, Jaquel. Well, first things first, let's jump. I agree. Yeah, so Clark would be our only choice. Where aren't we wanted? Well, we're not (laughs) wanted anywhere. That's the problem. Well, we are. (laughs) I'm a wanted man. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. (laughs) Yes, but that's the wrong kind of warning. (laughs) <laughs> We're gonna have to find some place that's Clark is our care. only place we can go. Halderman, we don't want to go near. Lieber is where they where we started yeah, this whole mess. Yeah, we're not mess. going back to Lieber. Le Guin, one puts us <laughs> yeah. in a dead end, and we had we fucked up there as well. Yeah, well, that's where they had the bugs. Man, we're yep. running out of options. So we need to get to Clark. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you you might not recall, but originally uh, Bill's plan had been to he was waiting for the ship to Clark, but he just because it was going to be three weeks away, he took a job to begin with, that ch- a job that Jacquel gave him to do some xenoarchaeology <laughs> and dig Let's up the ship that you're now in. Well, Let's he never go got to Clark. To Clark. He never got to Clark, Clark. Because, because before. The ship, the regular passenger liner came. Um, he went and found his own ship. And he decided to have that instead. Um, by the way, we do have a question from Compragi. Uh, is Wasteful Wednesday named after the ship that Conan took over as a pirate? Kyle named it, so I'll let him answer that. Uh, wasn't w- Wasteful like one of the possible results in the random harlot table? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I assumed it was that. I thought you'd named it, Bill. I can't remember. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it was. I did Thirsty Thursday, and uh, you, you, I think, uh, did uh, Wastrel Wednesday, Wastrel, yeah. Wastrel, Wastrel. How do you say it? Anyway, yes. Um, so yeah, you haven't been to Clark. You've only you guys have only that sounds been like to, uh, an improvement. You've only been to. Helderman, yeah. Lever, and Le Guin. Oh, and also Kafka, I think. Isn't briefly. Clark yeah. that high law world as well? <sighs> <laughs> well yeah, even that bodes well for us. Even, it's a low world, even when it's a low law world, you guys will still break those laws. So <laughs> Yes, but they have a good they they had they had high law and high tech, right? Clark? I don't know. What is Clark's stats? Do we know? Yeah, I'll just post them. Okay. There we go. Ah, so you start a port for a start. Good thing we got some money. <laughs> Where did they get posted? Because I'm not seeing it. Uh, Sorry, in there. The, here, I'll in put the, it in chat. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no, it's a low law, but in a low tech, actually. Oh, that's perfect. That is so perfect. Those- for those who don't know Traveller, Traveller as well as defining characters by a series of numbers, it defines worlds by a series of numbers. And um, you can get that data from there, what, what the numbers mean from that link that I just posted. That is completely perfect for us. <laughs> for now. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> Until we do something else and have to leave there. Well, granted, right. I... <laughs> girl power. <laughs> yes, we'll that's a leave. That girl power, which will clean up the Batman power. <laughs> well, 
I am completely and totally going over this whole ship again. <laughs> Repairing things again. <laughs> Sanitizing everything again, again because we didn't even clean the lock where like that whole fighting started. So who knows what kind of germs are over there. <laughs> But it was exposed to hard vacuum, so that tends to have a sterilizing effect. I don't know. Was it exposed long enough? <laughs> don't know. It didn't have a time. <laughs> it doesn't take long, I think. Um, yeah. So now um, normally you have to go out to a certain distance to do your jump. If you do not, it gives you an increased chance of a miss jump. Yeah, well, I think we need to go that far. Yeah, I'm done pushing my luck for the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, yep, you fly out to that distance. Um, you do. Um, there's the occasional person who pops up on the radio. There must be some ships out there. It, it's coming now. It comes like hours later because it's obviously. Your radio message only travels at the speed of one. Um, so it's just coming back hours later saying, you know, uh, yep, we're on on our way to give you help. Because <laughs> that mayday that you sent out has arrived to them. So. <laughs> Better late than ever, I guess. Oh, and then they're going to come to the mess and they're going to assume that that was us. So we might be home free. <laughs> I don't think there's a mess. I think there's just an incandescent cloud that is more just static on people's radios than it is a spaceship anymore. Well, maybe they figured yeah, we imploded there'll or something. There'll be ionized remains. There might be a few fragments here and there. There's certainly a few fragments of your ship, too, from the oh, explosions. Maybe Hopefully, they'll think it was us that went, too. Just so. By the time they sort this out, we should be moving on. Did we just fake our deaths? <laughs> we might have. Oh, that's right. There's three bodies in spacesuits from our <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Looks I don't want to like break our eye on the back, but we may have gotten away with this. Yeah, three, but bodies. Hey. three bodies in AI suits. No, 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 no. <laughs> we put no, no. them in hard suits. We put them in spacesuits from our ship. Yeah. But yeah, we so the suits were also kicked out as well. Oh, so you also have the you still have the AI suits then? Okay. No, we got rid of those. No, we dumped those as well. We got rid we of those and the lasers. Yeah, we dumped. So they're floating everything. around in space. Cool. Yeah. And, well, the AI has been floating around in space before, so. Yeah. <laughs> AI is like, where it went. <laughs> yeah. Not our okay. problem right now. Yeah, so well, you, you, I'm sure we'll see it again. Probably. All right, so you fly out for a few days and then you jump. Yep. And uh, do we get healed up during that? You'll arrive at Clark next week. Uh, you heal at one point a day. Oh, okay. Nice. Completely healed because I only took so three. You, <sighs> yeah, you'll heal three points. So, how long to the flight out? Three days. Three days to get out. Okay. Yeah. And the, is your jumps five or seven days? There's seven days, but something may be happening during the jump. We'll oh, for God's sake. <laughs> during that three days, I, I want to go back out and do a proper Wait. fix. And mm -hmm. I want to properly fix everything about the drive, too. And I want to scour the ship to make sure we don't have something else going on or somebody hiding uh, to hijack us mm -hmm. and sabotage us and everything else like that. And I want to make sure we have no other bombs on board that are going to cause us issues. Okay. That's fair enough. So you'll do that during your three days and presumably during your jump yep. as well. Correct. And uh, I'm monitoring yeah. and common, everything and because I am say. paranoid. <laughs> And common sense would be you check the jump drive first because that would be a bit embarrassing yeah. to go into jump and then it goes woo, 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 like the, the wonderful <laughs> like space balls, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, watch this. <laughs> you know, it does that power down noise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All 
All righty. And whoa, whoa, so, whoa. yeah, the rest will be next week. All right. Well, good game, everyone. That was a lot of fun. And I hope, I'm knocking on wood, I hope we actually fell ass backwards into uh, in, into Schnooker and not only <laughs> robot people, but the, the local long arm of the law as well. We'll mm -hmm. find out. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If, if anything else goes wrong, I'm shooting the uh, scientist. <laughs> <laughs> when we get to Clark, if they have a cowboy ranch, I am just paying for you to spend a week in there and you can shoot all the things you want. <laughs> oh, no. That's both, I don't know who else to blame, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I, I, I get it. The On the three days, on the three days, you'll have to let me know if I find anything askew, if I had to fix anything, if I had to deactivate any bombs. Yeah. <laughs> like, so what happens? Don't tell the gunny. Why? Someone will die. Just don't tell the gunny. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well if done, I find guys. anything, I, I share it with the captain. <laughs> Well done, guys. As we work through our final season, I, I endeavor to give you an opportunity for a, a TPK in every session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is supposed to be the... Okay, I see. That's why it's our final season. Okay. And it's going to end either in a TPK or in great success. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to sound over... Uh, I don't sound over eager or jinx us or anything, but I... I think the fact that we mostly vaporize the ship, there's chunks of our ship floating around out there and three suits that obviously aren't the AI suits, but with bodies in them, I, I think it could very, at least in that circumstance, we did. Okay. Maybe our luck is turning for the better. We will mm -hmm. find out. <laughs> well, yep, just, we'll find just out. know whenever, when, whenever things get hairy, you can find Bubba in the cockpit with his bare butt stuck on the windshield. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, we, we have I, that imprint upon our windshield. Who's get, you going to clean that off? Benjo will clean it. No, like no. a nice clean surgery window. <laughs> yeah, so Benjo needs to be able to see uh, any potential debris <laughs> floating around out there. Well, uh, well, Mark says he wants to play Traveler this year, and you'll have your opportunity, Mark, when um, we next run a when we run the next campaign. Of it. Wow, that is uh, so. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you, Doom Sword. Thank you, everyone who's uh, who's done that for me. That's, I feel so embarrassed. That's all, awesome, guys. <laughs> So humbled by it, but thank you very much, uh, everyone. Yeah. yeah. So once again, that GoFundMe link, I'll post it. Awesome. Thank you. Nice. So yeah, you guys uh, can copy paste. It's entirely up to y'all. I I appreciate every it more. Bit, every bit helps. If it's mm -hmm. just a dollar or anything, mm -hmm. or yeah. even just leave a comment. Collecting says, now get him enough to get his car fixed. My car is getting fixed because it's going to be somebody else's problem in a few days. And then I'm getting a nice, reliable used car to replace the extremely unreliable used car that will become someone else's problem. Yeah, I just got my car back from the shop with a new engine or new to me engine, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> well, the final thing of new. often was when we got it repaired the the second time. When we got it repaired the second time, and they said, "Yeah, you've got low compression, but it's consistent across, across all cylinders, so it's just wear and tear." But you should probably be needing an engine replacement in a year. Hmm. I have I have since I was nineteen owns. I have owned seven cars prior to this. Never in the life of any of them was you need a new engine even remotely brought up. Hmm. You have a blown turbocharger was not part of the parlance 
before this Volkswagen. Um, your plugs are completely fouled. N wasn't on the menu before this Volkswagen. Your your spark coil or your yeah your spark coils failed you on the highway in the middle of nowhere. Never came up with three Hondas, a Ford pickup, a couple of Chryslers, and a Chevy pickup. Something tells me you won't be getting any more uh, Volkswagens. A little bit. Never. And I recommend no one else get one either. <laughs> What's sad is they are good cars. Typically. Well, not mine. Yeah. So. Yeah. Whenever you go to foreign cars, though, you always run the risk of parts and that being difficult to get. Yeah. Old bugs you can beat to shit. Genuinely, like you can, but yeah. you also have to be okay with only like you know a four cylinder at most and having a max speed of maybe 65. Yeah, my daughter actually at one point had a Baja bug that she had bought, so only had it briefly and then got rid of it. But we had a Bradley GT kit car on top of a bug chassis, but it was a different motor. I want, I still want an Eldorado. I really do. When I was a kid and we moved to one of the first things I got into, I was 10 and it was wrenching on cars with, with my dad and my uncle. And basically on old cars, there's six things that can be wrong. Assuming that, your engine isn't cracked or you don't have a blown piston ignition carburetor fuel pump oil pump coil or timing that's it that's it if it's running rough or not running at all look at one of those six things it's going to be one of those six things now it's like you know trying to fix a current day imac <laughs> I'm, I'm the son of an auto mechanic and you're right like that, that's typically what it would boil down to, because if your transmission goes or if your engine goes, you, you, you get a new car. If your frame is bent or, you know, or, or, or you have serious structural damage, you get a new car. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, wiring harnesses will go every so often, particularly these days, but that's usually because we make them, we coat them with um, the rubber that they use these days is made from corn and squirrels and mice mm. love to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, boy, well, in the insulation. Well, you, you know, it, it, it could have been worse, Bill. It, you, you, you could have been driving a Toyota Highlander, because if you drive those, Whenever you see another person that drives a Toyota Highlander, you both have to pull over and fight to the death because right. there can only there, be one. There can be only one. <laughs> I like that. Um, no, but I, I don't want to get too far off on the car thing, but my my Zen garden is watching auto repair shift. People are like, do you watch this d d YouTuber? Do you watch that? And I try to. I try to watch them, but when I want to relax... I don't watch stuff about Dungeons and Dragons. I watch car restoration and repair videos. And they confirmed what I learned when I was a kid. Cause they're like today on junkyard digs, we're going to try and revive this 74 grand Torino. That's been sitting in a barn undriven for the last 40 years. Can we get it to start? And the answer is nine times out of 10. Yes. Because again, six things that can possibly be wrong with a car. Yeah. And they yeah. fix a number of those things and they drive the damn car out of where it's been parked for 40 years. I promise you, in 40 years, nobody's going to be saying, this here's a 2013 Tiguan and it's been parked for 25 years. Can we get it running again? Because the answer will be no. <laughs> well, very true. <laughs> One thing I will say in that regard, you could probably still replace the hoses, filters, and fluids and probably get it to start if the battery's not shot. If the battery's shot, yeah, sure. 
but um, I don't know. You could probably get you you could at least get an electric car to go. I'd think, but once again, same problem. Yeah. But you, would you be able to fix it right then easily? No, 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 no. Not unless you pull out the, like a whole module unit. I yeah. wish cars would get back to that. Like, like eventually, like e, e vehicles might get back into that, into the uh -huh. whole easy modularity thing because the car world went that way and then turned away from it. Yeah, whatever yeah. gets some more money, literally. Yeah. Nowadays, you read about stuff like Tesla locking out features in the car remotely. Yeah. It's a, you didn't yeah. you didn't pay your fee. Cars as a service can go straight to hell. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, anything is a service at this point because, like, I'm tired of the pay every month for things. I'm sorry. Uh, like, can I own a pro? Like, I want to buy my editing software. I don't want to rent my editing software. <laughs> right. I'm with you. I mean, um, Microsoft decided actually... either I buy it or I pay a monthly subscription. You don't get me on both. Yeah. There, there was this, <laughs> there was this two year span where I think, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. The last physical media version of Microsoft office you could get was professional 2007. And that's what I had. I got it from uh, a company that I worked for. Uh, they they gave me a license and they gave me a physical disc, um, but I couldn't install it on anything because Microsoft, back around 2018 2017, shut off the validation servers, so you could <laughs> you could install it. It would say, "Okay, enter your key, and we'll let." Do, oh no, we don't. We recommend you upgrade to Office 365. Somebody, some government somewhere, got pissed off enough at Microsoft and they made them switch it back on. Thank because you. if you have a copy of Office 2007, you can now validate it again, at least. Um, because it went from sitting on the shelf gathering dust because I'm a hoarder and I never th throw anything away. And then one day I said, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm bored. I'm building a studio PC. I'm going to look online and see if I can get Office uh, installed, if there's some registry hack I can do. And I go Googling and lo and behold, no, oh, Microsoft has, has turned the uh, validation servers back on. I installed Office on everything in the house. <laughs> can can you all do a blind guy a favor? I'm actually curious about something. You know, sure. Windows 95, and um, I know everybody usually like cries when they hear that. But the um, is there a tool to make all of your web banners and default settings? for your computer go back to looking like they did in the 90s because I could see that font contrast so much nicer. Uh, I will get I, I will get with you. I will get with you, TK. Uh, I, I, I think I can help you out there. Yeah, because like that was, I missed that. It could just also be nostalgia, but like I genuinely missed that. No, no, I, I run a plugin on all my machines that makes the user interface look like Windows 7. Even when I have Windows 10 on the, the studio PC here, on my editing PC, on my laptops, and on my, my wife's PC and my kid's PC, and I run a tool that makes it look like Windows 7, not like Windows 10. There's no tiles. There's, there's none of that. So uh, thank you, TJ. Have a, have, a lovely, have a lovely evening. Thank you for sticking around. Um, but yes, I will... I will help you as best as I can to get that up. Appreciate it. Cause I've been wondering about that for a while. Not a problem. And the thing about it is the hooks for doing that are still in the underlying structure of the operating system. Literally all the, all Microsoft did was hide that and the <laughs> software hides it from the rest of the OS. Well, that's what I was so thinking. We, it's like, I've, I haven't seen it in the settings or anything, you know? Yeah. They benefit from their laziness. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Why not? But anyway, um, so just before I forget, I'm not running anyone off, but before I forget, uh, tomorrow night, uh, Thirsty Thursday, we'll, we'll do something fun. It'll be a surprise. 
for me too. But no, we'll we'll uh, <laughs> RPG stuff because it's an open evening. Friday night, of course, we'll have a little bit of preamble ramble. Then we'll play some classic Gammon World, and uh, both uh, Todd and Savvy will be in that game along with Doom Sword and uh, Yang Yan Zhao and uh, Kevin. They'll all be here and we'll be doing that. And then we just start the whole process up again on Monday. It's like that Bugs Bunny cartoon music. Da, 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 da. That's every week and I'll find fun and entertaining things to, to upload in the meantime. Um, but uh, that will happen also. Speaking of of fun and entertaining. Yes. I'm breaking into the world of freelance writing um, and a course I'm doing. I have to interview a local celebrity, quote unquote. Um, does anybody know anybody gaming related in Maryland that like could be fun to interview? Because the only person I currently have on my list is some weirdo that's been canceled on the internet three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Tell us. Who it is. Tell us who it is. Uh, uh, who the weirdo is? Yes. Uh, sure. They can hate me. I don't care. Uh, Richard McLean Geese, G I E S E. Uh, they run a uh, they're a comedian, yada yada. They're mostly known for social repose, or he is mostly known for social repose. He kind of looks like Marilyn Manson, but <laughs> um, yeah. Uh. So I'm. I want to find somebody better. That was who, like, my girlfriend recommended. But yeah, I don't. I don't know that person. Um, I'll. Uh, a anyone out there in the audience? Anyone sure. in the Mar in Maryland? Uh, can we go New England, or does it have to specifically be Maryland? My professor really wants to be local area. Though to be but, fair, if they moved here or were born here, I can push that. So if they live uh, in like Vegas now or something, you know, I can probably right. push okay. that. But. So. Anyone out there? Uh, l let's uh, let's see if there's anyone out there in the audience. Uh, whether if you're watching this video tomorrow, uh, well, I guess it's today to you. But anyway, um, <laughs> whenever you're watching this video, in a reasonable amount of time. Look, if I'm speaking to the year 2047, and and you're watching this as part of some uh, you know early 21st century pop culture uh, examination, don't don't reach out to me. I'll be dead. Uh, <laughs> you won't pick the hive mind. <laughs> but if you, anyway, uh, what does that do? If you if if you if you've got any any insight on that and can can reach out and tell uh, TK uh, any any good uh, stuff like that, uh, and someone that's got uh, some RP you mean industry writing experience? Uh, oh, what for me? Um, for you. Uh, I'm getting into, uh, yeah, free, mo mostly freelance writing. This is a course devoted to nonfiction freelance writing, sadly, which is not my wheelhouse. Um, hmm. but I just want to, I still want to tie it into games and get, cause like normally I do game studies and game theory, but I still want to do like, um, by the by, if any of you haven't had the chance to read them, there's a British, um, there's a British, uh, game magazine called, uh, retro, uh, retro gamer. And there's also another one called Retro Format, and both of them are really good and line up really pretty well with like the whole AD and D thing. Yeah. If it's you know pre two thousand, they love it. Very cool. Um, Jimmy Invictus says I've driven through Maryland. Does that count? Mentions uh, <laughs> uh, Bethesda Softworks. Softworks uh, grab Todd Howard because that'd be easy. To do. Ooh, Todd, yeah, you're right. Todd Howard could be fun. There you go. Um, because the Elder Scroll series, uh, Bethesda did sports and driving simulations before they released Arena. Um, Arena came out of their in office Dungeons and Dragons game. So, yeah, and they the, did. I'm sorry, go ahead. I said, yeah, they did. I forgot about that. Yes. And it's called Arena uh, because their initial thought was they wanted to release like a first person, like deathmatch game that you played in an arena. And they just kept adding more and more and more lore and options for building fighters when they said, hey, we're just straight up building an open world RPG. And there we are. So, so there's that. Um, 
But anyway, uh, I am just about out of fuel uh, for this evening, so I think I'm going to head off. Uh, thank you very much to our cast tonight. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. It was definitely interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Another I'll one I'm shocked we made it through. Oh, I know. I'm like, ah! Like everyone returned, everything was going against us, so... If that's what Kyle plans every week, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got I got to moon a spaceship, so it, it was all good. You did, and you bedaz yeah. have a bedazzled spacesuit now. You have a bedazzled that's spacesuit. Right. And Just I think he's so. trying to see how paranoid my character can really get. Yeah. <laughs> when we have, and I want I want a pair of bedazzled Crocs. Forget the flip flops. I want Crocs. So thank you, everyone. Thank you all again for being here. Um, if, thank if you you're for just, hosting. Uh, if you like yes, this insanity, uh, please click the uh, click the like button. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already done that, because that's super duper helpful, too. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you all next time. Y'all have an absolutely wonderful evening. We'll see you then. Peace, everybody. Catch you later. Bye now. Bye. Later, peeps. Have you seen my owl bear? Here's to all the weirdos everywhere in the woods and in the air. Have you seen my owl bear? Should I shave off all my hair? Bobs are all around, some live in tunnels underground. Some are fat, some are rich, some are sleeping in a ditch. Can you ride a crooked horse without a saddle way off course? Naked as a toad, all the way to Smoky Joe's. Have you seen the little creep driving fast in his little green jeep? He smells like fish and brandy, but his rotten teeth look dandy. Take me to the show, I don't care if fast or slow. From action flicks to dancing dicks, just take me to the